Hello and welcome to One More Pen. So uh, today I've got something different and I actually need your help with something. I have two Parker vectors that I bought a while ago. They are um, the old vectors. They're in the original packaging and I think they're, they're quite, uh, quite old. And um, two things. I need help to try and figure out when these were made because I really would like to know when they are from. Um, because they, they really, the packaging looks like um, familiar to me, uh, you know, to, to what I saw when I was in school actually. So that's, it would be nice uh, if that is the case. And then the other thing I need to decide is, you know, do I, do I take them out of the packaging? Do I open them up and use them, uh, which is what they are meant for? Or do I keep them in the original packaging and, you know, say that, okay, this is something special. I, I don't want to open it up. I want to keep it. And um, I would really appreciate your input on that. But first, let's have a closer look. I really want to show you uh, what I've got here. Right, so here they are, two car correctors in their original packaging, uh, old new stock. And I, I need to figure out what to do with these two. Um, so what, what I have here is this one is a, this is a, a black, um, color black. It just says uh, vector standard. And this one is a fine point actually. And it still has the um, price tag on, and this would have been 33 South African Rand, which if you were to convert that today, I think it would be just over a dollar fifty, uh, actually. So yeah, this is what these pens went for. So this one is just, um, it just says vector standard, uh, vector standard pen. It's a fine. I actually have another one of these, but um, the one that I have is a medium. Um, it is an absolutely brilliant pen, I have to say. Um, the medium, though, writes uh, much more like a like a broad than a, uh, It's it's not even close to medium, so it will be interesting um, to know what the fine will be like. But anyway, this is this is the one, and in this one, uh, this is a, a sort of a navy or a dark dark blue. This is actually a medium, and what I find very um, interesting and special about this one is that on the packaging it still says the world's most wanted pens and then in my home language the world's most gesochte pen and this is kind of special because you don't see this on packaging anymore and I think I think I recognize this from probably when I was at school so my guess is that these pens would be either late 80s or early 90s and I haven't done any research online maybe I should actually do that um, and I'm trying to figure out where they're from they both have barcodes and the barcodes are exactly the same exactly the same number on the barcodes and I, I scanned them with a few applications actually and um, try to uh, you know to get some more information I, I don't know what kind of information you have on a barcode but anyway it was scanned as a, uh, wrongly scanned, uh, the product as a, um, a packet of Baker's Tennis Biscuits, which is very popular here in South Africa. But anyway, so this obviously um, not the right product. So now, you know, what do I do with these? Are they, are they special enough to keep them as is? I even thought about, I know some people will think this is crazy, but I even thought about buying a nice big frame and actually put them in a frame and put them on my wall because I thought it would be something different and something special and it sort of, you know, reminds me of my childhood and um, I, I used fountain pens in school, it's what I grew up with. So in a sense for me that's sort of what a part of me wants to do that. And another part of me says, well, you know, the pens are made to write um, there's no use to them if you keep them in the packaging what you know then it's just it's just pretty but the real value would be in you know the experience of writing with them and um, and that kind of thing so I would really love to know what you think you know do I do I unpackage these maybe in a video or do I frame them and hang them on my wall and then the other thing is if you have any idea when these are from um, that would really be appreciated. So um, please let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and if you like this kind of content, um, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Have a nice week.